In the previous video, I showed you uh, the register page. In, the, uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you the test, and, and I'm just going to drag this test and parse click to Sublime Text. And uh, uh, I don't want to together, but let me just close the session at the moment, and then let's talk about this auto loader. So if I open up this PSR4 auto loader class, what is this? This is uh, auto loader. So you might go ahead and maybe inside your, uh, you know, uh, you know the files on the top. You might go ahead and add. Uh, let me just drag this parse click inside the. Uh, there you go. Here, if I open up the session on the top, you can see that there is no include file included already. So there is nothing on the top. You could go ahead and add those includes on the top. You might go ahead and. You, you might could go ahead and add the includes on the top of every file, which is not a good practice. So what is this uh, PSR4 autoloader? This is uh, an example of a general purpose imp implementation that includes the optional uh, functionality of allowing multiple base directories for a single namespace per prefix. So if you're not familiar with autoloader, you probably uh, familiar with the include uh, you know things on the top maybe include once include once maybe write this or maybe require uh, as well as require once right you are I'm sure you're familiar with all of this so instead of doing all of this which is not a good practice there is something called uh, auto loader this is a PHP framework interop a group uh, made it in the in this address p www php-fig.org and it's agreed in Drupal, uh, Zend and uh, Symfony and the file we downloaded is right here PSR4 so you could you can actually add it download it and include in your folder and uh, read what it is the key the keyword must must not require shall shall not should should not and so on these documents are to be interpreted as described in the uh, FRC 2119. So you can go ahead and over, you know, uh, have a look at all of this. What is this? And you can see that examples are being added in the Zen Symphony and so many PHP frameworks. At least three of them. Uh, actually, 40 PHP frameworks, including Symphony, Zen, and Drupal. Uh, what is this? How we can use that? If I click on the PSR4 meta documentation example implementation of PSR-4, there is an example to to let you know how to how you can actually use that. So example of implementation of PSR4 closure example, and uh, this is not really useful. We, we use I used actually class example. Uh, I didn't change anything at all to the PSR4. The only thing I changed actually was the uh, namespace example. So if I open this up, you can see that on the top there is no namespace included on the top. So there we go. We have class PSR4 autoloader class. If I scroll down, you can see that the exactly the same thing here. And then prefix array and uh, so on. So this is a little bit old. You can actually go ahead and uh, copy anything you can see here or download the file and then include it in your uh, you know, folder and start using that. So now let's go ahead and start using this auto class and let's close this and then let's go to the include right click the new file I'm going to call this init.php and then in init.php first thing I'm going to do we have uh, I'm going to have my PHP delimiter on the top and I'm just going to uh, paste line by line code and explain you what they are let me just close this browser since I don't no longer use this. So close tabs. And the first thing I'm going to paste is going to be the use uh, of the name namespace that we have. Parse click sessions persistent session handler. So we're going to use this parse click, which is uh, I'm going to include it, require it before I actually use that. So if I come down here and paste these two we're gonna have require once and then uh, dir because we, we are we're gonna get our directory so doesn't matter where you are 
even if you change the directory name, which for, uh, for example now is named exercise files. So instead of exercise files and uh, instead of even going into your maybe uh, users, then after that your username and after that sites and after that exercise files, instead of all of that, the only thing you need to do is just pass this uh, concatenated uh, the uh, autoloader class with the DIR. So whatever your directory name is, is going to get that and then you have to add this slash after that because it's not going to add anything or maybe a directory separator you can uh, you know directory separator we have in for in the PHP I don't know if you if you are aware of that or not or probably you're going to add uh, add this slash it's, this is going to work either in Windows or Mac doesn't really matter and then we're going to add this uh, DB connect after this uh, you know auto loader this is why uh, we are including these two because we are we, we are going to use this auto class, uh, auto loader class, our, as well as our connection. The next thing I'm going to just paste is going to be instantiation of the P, uh, PSR auto loader class. So we're going to instantiate it and then save it in the variable called loader. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste two more lines, which is uh, we're going to invoke the uh, loader register. Uh, method. If you go back to your PSR, you can see that we have a register as well as, uh, you know, adding the namespace. So we're going to add the namespace. The way I added the namespace, so this is, this is the directory separator I was talking about. So whatever the directory separator is, you can go ahead and use this in PHP. I'm sure if you have ever used PHP before at the intermediate level, you, are know, uh, you know what I'm talking about. So we're going to invoke the add namespace. We're going to use the parsely because whatever the name of this folder is, you're going to use that. Maybe uh, you know your project name, and uh, you know the second argument we have. We're going to uh, include this dir or directory, and then con concatenate it uh, with two uh, dot dot slash dot dot. These are uh, indicating that you need to go to directory up. So wherever we are, in we are includes, then we have to go back, uh, which is going to close this, then we're going to be inside the test. So we, because we are inside a test right here, now in, in here we are in the test, we have to go one directory up to access to this parse click, uh, you know, name is best. Even though after parse click we have another folder called session, but that's not necessary. We only need this parse click, uh, and the rest is going to be, uh, you know, system is going to find the rest of it. I'm going to paste four more lines and that, these are the last thing I wanted to paste. So we're going to have another variable called handler and uh, we're going to you know, instantiate the persistent class session handler, persistent session handler and uh, record db. This is something that we used already and then record is uh, session set safe handler that I'll explain and brought the documentation up for you. Then we're going to start a session as well as this is not something that you might uh, know of we're going to have a session called active name it the session called active and uh, you know uh, require uh, today's times any any time you uh, start a session you're going to have the time uh, current time by using this time function in the PHP these are orange uh, these orange lines are PHP row functions. So that's all you need to know in P, uh, in it at PHP. So save this file. This is actually included in your exercise file as well. And if you open any of uh, the things that we including, so let's say go restricted, you can see that we have includes authenticate some of that. Maybe uh, not here and. Yeah, there you go. Authenticate. If I go to authenticate, for example, you can see that we, we included this in it on the top. So this is something that you might uh, go ahead and use that because in it, uh, what is included, uh, what is going to include is your uh, classes inside this se uh, session folder, like auto login, uh, persistent session handler. So I hope you understand uh, uh, this, uh, you know, P auto loader. Because we're using it, the only the only place we actually use it right now it is inside the authenticate, which is requires all of those folder, uh, you know, files and 
classes.